Guys, absolutely fascinating test here. I haven't seen one like this before. This is 21 different electric cars in China. Uh, they were all tested in a real world environment, the same environment, right? The air temperature was 10 Celsius, so it's quite cold. Each vehicle was fully loaded with a weight of 375 kilograms. They had their air conditioning set to 24 degrees Celsius because it was cold, so I'm guessing that was keeping them warm. And they had an automatic fan running through the test. So all the exact same conditions, weight 375 kilos, so what's that, about 800 pounds. And the average speed was quite fast. So the average speed was 120 kilometers per hour. So they're driving on the freeway, 120 kilometers per hour, plenty of weight in the car, 375 kilos. Therefore, the efficiency was a lot less than what it would normally be. I mean, if you're driving at 110 kilometers an hour, your efficiency would probably be 20% or more better than this. But that kind of makes the point here. The efficiency of all of these cars was pretty pretty poor, pretty average. I'm not sure if it was raining or not. All I know is there's 10 degrees Celsius. And all I also know is that BYD was shocking in this test. Don't drive your BYD 803 to 120 kilometers per hour because it will eat the battery up incredibly, incredibly quickly. This is some incredible data here, guys. And in fact, I'm just making this video as exciting me because real world range is what we want to know, not the advertised range, the claimed range, real world efficiency. Guys, for example, we're seeing the new Subaru Solterra EV saying it has the best efficiency of any EV on sale right now. Ridiculous claims, nonsensical. You're never going to get that in the real world. But here's what we do get in the real world. Tesla did win, and this is in China. Efficiency and range, Tesla actually pretty easily won. But this is a big test, guys. This is actually a total of 20 different cars. Interestingly, BYD's Addo 3 Plus EV had the worst efficiency of all 20 different cars tested, and it was bad. I mean, quite bad. So let's have a look at this list of 20 EVs and go through them to see which are the most efficient cars. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. In first place in this test was the Tesla Model 3. And it actually had an efficiency of 20.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers of driving meaning it did a real world range of 331 kilometers. In second place was the Tesla Model Y. Now, by the way, that 331 kilometers, that's not the full battery pack. It's just the amount of battery that they used. But they used a lot of the battery, basically, is what they're saying. Second place, Tesla Model Y, efficiency of 21.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Now, I should mention, guys, these cars were driven fast. And, you know, not like rocket ship fast, but they were certainly not driven for efficiency. That's for sure. So this real world range test is going to give you figures you will easily beat in the real world if you drive normally. They drive, they drive pretty aggressively. Anyway, second place, Model Y, and that had an efficiency of 21.8. In third place was the Aon RT. So Aon, they now sell a car called the 520 Smart Edition, the RT. Can't buy that in Australia, but you can buy the Aon V in Australia, which has quite good efficiency as well. The Aon RT got a return on efficiency of 21.89. So just a bit more, only a tiny bit more than the Model Y. In fourth place was the Xiaomi Su7, the long range rear wheel drive performance edition, which did really well at 22.5. 22.9 was Elite Motor C01, the Smart Edition. Now in sixth place was a pretty good result for the updated, the latest Volkswagen ID3, the GTX dual motor revision. This is the 2026 model, the new model. That returned an efficiency of 24.95, which is pretty bad in comparison to the Tesla Model 3, but good in comparison to some of the other cars here in this list. Now next we have the, uh, the Nita. L, I believe, the Nita L return an efficiency just about the same as the Volkswagen ID3. It was at 25 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. That was the endurance version, though. The endurance version gets 565 kilometers of CLTC range. So WLTP would be a bit less than that. 
In eighth place, Lee Autos L6. This is their, this is actually their range extender EV, so I'm not even sure how this got into the list, but anyway, it did. Next is the GAC Trumpchi E9. The E9 return and efficiency of 25.65 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers of driving. That was followed by the Xpeng G6, the Max Tech Edition. That was that return and efficiency of 26.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. I have an Xpeng G6 and I've never got anywhere near that. I average about 17 or yeah. I drive fairly aggressively, so I average about 17 kilowatt hours per 100. You can get 16 if you don't drive aggressively. So I'm not sure how they managed to get these numbers. I'm going to guess that they were driving really quickly. Next was Elite Motor B10. Its efficiency was just slightly higher than the Xpeng G6. That was followed by the Jishi Matrix 7X. I've got no idea what that even is. Next was the GAC, GAC Aon Y. That was in 16th place. That's the 100 kilowatt hour long range version that vehicle is meant to be able to get up to a thousand kilometers of range now in the real world obviously it's not going to quite get to that but anyway a lot of range in that car that was followed by the zika 007 gt the 75 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery version that's the geely golden brick battery anyway that was in 17th place next was the bod Addo 3, the Plus EV with 605 kilometers of range, and that was in 18th place. The efficiency of that car was 27.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, 27.4. Next was the Geely Geometry EX, which is their really small, very affordable, starts at 8,000 US dollars in China, the EX EV. Uh, that returned uh, 28.3. And in last place was the BYD UN Plus EV, which is the Auto 3, a different version of the Auto 3 that had an efficiency of 28.66. So just to summarize and just to remind you all, the actual parameters of this test were the vehicles had to do 100, they averaged 120 kilometers an hour. So as you can see, some cars doing 120 kilometers an hour return a, a decent efficiency, some cars do not. And if you're going to be driving 120 kilometers per hour, it's probably worth having a look at this list. If you're not, maybe it doesn't matter so much, but still your efficiency at 110 kilometers per hour will be much better than this, much, much, much better. Just reducing your speed by 10 kilometers an hour should improve your efficiency by about 20%. It's going to make a big, big difference, maybe even more than that, depending on the car you're driving.